In this video, we're going to be restoring a Garmin GPS system. Now, these are quite old devices now, as a lot of people are using their cell phones and whatnot for maps. But what if you're kind of abroad in maybe Mexico or Guatemala or any other country, really, without cell service? Then it's really good to have something like this on hand. And I'm going to show you how to get the latest and greatest updated maps from 2022 at time of filming and even later on these devices and upgrade them into the real world. So uh, let's get going. Now this video is going to be focused around the Garmin brand because these support the open maps which is what we're going to be using here. I'm going to show you how to download them, split them up and add them onto these devices so they'll work no problems. If you have something like a TomTom, again it's not really going to work with a TomTom because those maps are available for purchase and they don't support free maps. But something like a Garmin, especially the Nuvi range, will work no problem. So you can see on this new V here, I have 2012 maps from October. Let's look at getting some later stuff on here. Now we're going to select some memory in which to put our maps on for our GPS devices here. This Garmin here uses a micro SD slot here, so a smaller card. And this older Garmin here uses an SD card slot right there, so it's going to be a bigger SD card right there. Now. Every single GPS device, especially especially these old ones, have very intricate requirements on how maps can be put on here, the number of map files they support, the size of the map files. It's something we're going to have to look up later in the video. Now for this one right here, it can support two map files on the card, and each map file cannot exceed 4 gigabytes. Therefore, it only really makes sense to put an 8 gig SD card in here. So for the purpose of this one, we're going to use this 8 gigabyte card right here. Now this one right here, you can only have one map file on the SD card, and the file cannot exceed 2 gigabytes. So really, it makes sense just to use a 2 gigabyte card on this. And that is something you can look up on the internet to figure out. Um, you know, using the model number for your GPS. So these are the cards we're going to use, and we're going to work with this one as an example in this video. One thing I will mention is, even though there's not a card in either of these, there is some inbuilt memory which comes with the maps uh, built into it. You can actually access this memory and, you know, replace these maps with other maps. However, the inbuilt memory is not very big. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave these on here. You can, you know, have them as dual maps if you wish. You can delete them. It's up to you. But we're only going to actually put our new maps on the card itself. So we're going to be running an example through with this Garmin GPS right here. The very first thing we're going to do is upgrade the firmware on here. And we're going to use a USB cable to connect it to our computer and upgrade the firmware to the very latest version. So we're over on the computer now. All the software I'm going to use in this video, all the hardware, everything you need, I'm going to link in the description below so you can check it out. Now this is Garmin Express, it's official Garmin software, and we're going to actually use this to upgrade the firmware on the GPS itself. Think as firmware as like an operating system, like the brains of the GPS itself. When you add your GPS to the Garmin Express software, it's just going to check for an updated software. I already have one on here, but making sure this up to, is up to date means it fully supports what we're about to do in this video. For example, um, older types of firmware only supports one map file, but upgrading it will allow it to support two or maybe more, depending on the model, so that's why we do this. So I'll show you how it updates on the GPS now, and make sure the GPS is restarted if you do have an update so it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm on this website here called openmapchest.org, and that's where you can download all the maps for your Garmin compatible devices. You can see here, this is sort of uh, what they work with, but it's going to work with our Garmin Nuvi I showed you at the start of the video. Now, these maps are based on the OpenStreetMap project. This is, um, you know, this is user created. They're absolutely free, and you can use them. It's not a problem at all. Uh, it's not illegal. It's perfectly legal. And on Open Map Chest, they've converted these maps, and they do this regularly, so they keep it up to date for all the countries here. So the United States, for example, West Africa, Europe, Mexico, and they're all split up, uh, and they're going to work with all Garmin-compatible devices. 
So at the start of the video I said this is really useful, say if you travel to Central America and you just don't have phone service, this is why a GPS you know, device is really useful. But I'm going to actually do an example with the United States map, mainly because this map is quite big and some of the file types on the SD cards is FAT32 format which has a file size limitation. So by using United States as an example, I'm going to show you how to cut and join maps together. So it's not going to be a problem whichever map you choose to use. Now if you try and download the United States, it actually says the SD card version is only available as separate downloads. So you download the regions you want. So we're going to download Midwest, Northeast, these maps together. And I'm going to show you how to join them and whatnot. So here it says uh, download map for SD card right here. We're going to click that. And that's going to download a torrent file. Now, if you're not familiar with torrent files, there's a website called qubittorrent.org. Um, you can use other torrent clients as well. Perfectly legal. It's just depending what you're downloading. But these maps are free. Uh, so this is a good uh, client to use for that. If you have Windows, download this here. And again, for other operating systems, Mac, Linux, you can download it here. But this one is one of the best ones to use. And that's how you will open this torrent file. When you open the torrent file, you're going to download all the map data to your local system. It's, it's quite straightforward on how to do. So we're going to download Midwest here. We're going to download Northeast. Um, uh, etc. Uh, Pacific and we're just going to go through all of these and download these so we're going to put these into our um, torrent client and we're going to download these then I'll come back when I can show you how to join and uh, do various things with these maps so we're just downloading all these maps now and I'll be back when it's complete so all the maps are finished downloading now I've created a folder for them and I'm going to use WinRAR to extract each archive into separate folder. That's because inside the zip file, the file names are the same. So it's just going to overwrite it. So this option is really good. Um, WinRAR is a good tool to that. But I, I believe WinZip also does it as well. So we're just going to let all these extract into their own separate folders. So now all the maps are extracted into their separate folders here. We're going to move on to the next step. So if you don't have a card reader, these things are really good. You can actually insert SD cards or micro SD cards into these. Then it gives you a USB input. For anything like this, I'll link in the description below so you can check it out. So I've inserted the 8 gig card into the computer here. I've used the 8 gig card because the 4 gig card won't be an, you know, big enough for our USA maps in our example. But it's perfectly big enough for a smaller country. So here's the 8 gig card. This is very important. If you right click, assuming you're using Windows, right click the device or drive and click format. We need this file system to be FAT32. NTFS and XFAT will not work in an old Garmin device. It must be FAT32. We can leave every Everything else, choose quick format, it'll be a lot quicker. And then we're going to format the card. Now the file system is FAT32, it's ready for the Garmin device. So, with our freshly formatted SD card, what we're going to do is create a new folder and we're going to call it Garmin. That's with a capital G, just like that on the card itself. And the maps we put on the card always go inside Garmin. That's very important. Now the next part is quite intricate and complicated. This is where the sort of magic happens, especially with regards to bigger maps like the United States map and trying to cram such a huge map on an older Garmin device. This is why I'm using this as an example because it's a worst case scenario. That way you can learn everything you need to when this happens with you. Now there are a few intricate things, depending on the model number, all model numbers are different, remember that. If you have a later Garmin you're going to have no problem, you can throw these maps on, it's no big deal. Older Garmin devices, this is where it gets complicated, like the ones we saw at the start of the video. Now that silver Garmin I showed you at the start of the video, uh, the very old one, it can actually only support one file name on the SD card, one map file name. And that map cannot be larger than 2 gigabytes in size. This is the model number here. 
So therefore, we can put a smaller country on there. It's going to be no problem. Denmark, Norway, um, anything like that, it's going to fit on there, no problem at all. However, using something like United States, you know, it's about a five gigabyte map file. It's just not going to work on these older devices. However, you could download United States South and use that on the old Garmin. It's going to be no problem at all. You can use United States Pacific or West. All of these are under two gigabytes in size, and they will work on this very old uh, Nuvi device, the 680, the silver one at the start of the video. It's going to work no problem. But we cannot put the whole of the United States on there due to file size limitations of this very old Garmin device. Now the other Garmin we're working with, the 8 gigabyte file, this one actually supports two file names assuming we've upgraded the firmware and everything. Now each of these files on this device can be 4 gigabytes in size, so we're using an 8 gig card. This United States map is going to fit on here no problem at all. If I combine all of these maps together, it's going to be 5 gigabytes in size, and that's going to exceed our single file limitation here which is four gigabytes. So what we're gonna have to do in this case is join some of these together and create only two file names out of these five maps. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say combine this one and this one, so Midwest and South. They're, you know, two, around two to three gigabytes between them. And then North, East, Pacific and West is another file. So there's gonna be uh, three in one and two in the other. And that's how we're going to solve this problem. We're going to join these maps together using a special tool called the GMAP tool. Here are some other gotchas here. We've talked about it very briefly before. And uh, we know the SD card must be formatted FAT32 on the older Garmin devices. We put our maps in the Garmin folder. If you have a special SD card called the SDHC card, they work fine, no problem on pretty much any Garmin model. And again, depending on the Garmin model number, it does depend how big certain files are. It's, it's, you know, it just does depend. Uh, so these older Garmins, you cannot have a file larger than two gigabytes in size, and you can only have one file. But the newer Garmins, you can have two files, and they can be four gigabytes each in size. Newer Garmins, you're not going to have any of these limitations. So this is something very important, and it applies to the older Garmin devices that we're working with in this video. So let's talk about actually joining some of these maps together so we can get by some of these limitations right here. So now what we want to do is join three of these maps together into one file, which will be called this, and the other two as the other file, which will be called this. And we're going to drop those both on the SD card. So we're going to use the GMAP tool. Install the setup file, download and install, and we're going to open the software, which looks like this. Now we can't join or split or do anything with the maps until we've actually added some maps onto here. So I know that Midwest and South are both quite big maps, but they also don't exceed the four gigabyte file limitation of the FAT32 system. So what I'm going to do is add the Midwest map here, and I'm going to add the South map right there. So you can see the size here, it's around 3, 1, something, something. And the FAT32 format is 4 gigabytes, so it's not going to exceed 4. It's only going to be 3.2 gigabytes when I combine these together. So this is Midwest and South. We're going to click join, and this will be our output file here. So I'm going to output them into this directory here. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to do backslash, and I want these to be called this file name. So we're going to put that here. And now the map name, I'm going to call it USA April 2022, because that. that that's more, if we look at our GPS, we know exactly when this map is for. So this will be it. That will be the path. I want to click join all. So that's going to join those two maps together. You can see it's spit out this file here, and it's done. So that is our Midwest and South combined into one file right here. We're going to repeat the process for the other three areas. So we're going to go back in our GMAP tool. We're going to delete Midwest and South. And we're going to go in here. We're going to add Northeast. We're going to add Pacific. And we're going to add West. So that's the remaining three areas here. We're going to join them again. 
we're going to keep our map set the same name and we're going to take the other file which we're allowed on the SD card and we're just going to change that to that. We're going to join them all and that's going to spit out the other file we need. So let's open here. It's done so we can close that. Now all five maps for those US, uh, USA maps are now combined into two files which is what the Garmin is going to understand. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy both of these and we're going to put them in the Garmin folder on our SD card. So here's the SD card, open the Garmin folder and we're just going to paste them in there. And when they're finished copying, we're going to load it into the GPS and take a look at our new maps. Now, because this is a FAT32 file system, if any one of these files was over 4 gigabytes individually, it will not copy, it will error right here. But you can see both of them are under that file size, so they're going to copy now. So now both files are copied into our Garmin folder on our SD card here, we're going to put it into the GPS. So depending on the GPS, you might need to restart it. Other GPSs, you can just kind of insert the card and look at the map settings and then it will just magically appear. So this is the one in the inbuilt memory of the Garmin. We're just going to deselect that. And this is the one we've added. I'm not really sure why it says United States West, even though there's, you know, multiple maps loaded in this map set. It, it's just a mystery to me. But um, all the maps are loaded on here and they're ready to be searchable. Uh, let's have a look at that now. So because we added South and Midwest together uh, as two separate files, we're going to check that both of these files are on this GPS and they're readable. So we're going to try something in the United States West, so Los Angeles for example. You can see we can actually plot a route to Los Angeles, California. So this confirms that the West map is loaded and you know West is bundled with uh, Pacific and uh, everything else in there. So now we're going to search for an address in uh, uh, Midwest or South and that will confirm both files can be read on this GPS. So I'm going to use Dallas as an example here for our southern map set and that will confirm that both files GMAPSUP and GMAPSUP1 can be both be uh, you know read and uh, then one file isn't being ignored. And you can see here, Dallas, Texas is reading the southern uh, map set, no problem. So that's pretty good. If you notice that you can only search for places within one of the files and not the other, that means your GPS either isn't upgraded to the latest firmware or the model only supports one file name on the card, in which case you're going to have to you know, use a smaller map set and you can't, unfortunately, put the entire US on this GPS. And on our very old Garmin GPS here, I've just put the United States West map as there's a file size limitation. This could be any country really, it doesn't matter, it's just a proof of concept that it also works with really older Garmin devices like this one right here. So I hope this video helped you breathe some life into your old GPS units here. Even if you're traveling abroad with no cell service, or it's just an emergency thing you can pull out from under your seat or glove box, you know, when your cell phone dies. If this video helped you, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for another video.